Hi everyone, it's Megan. And I am so glad you are here. Shut up, Meg. I'm so excited because for this video, I'm going to be reacting to the first ever episode of Dance Moms. I used to be obsessed with this show as a kid, and believe it or not, I used to be a dancer myself. Don't believe me. I just find so much joy when I see her dancing on stage, and I know she's gonna be a star someday. But before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe, turn on that notifications bell, well, I guess don't like the video before you've watched it. You won't know if you like it. But after, if you like it, please like the video. <laughs> yeah, let's get right into it. Here we go. On the dance floor. Every single competition, we are doing a new routine. Uh, 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 uh. Girls, don't look at your mothers. She's treating them like dogs. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. God damn it, I said roll over. And compete it. At the beginning of each week, I have kind of like a pyramid thing. You see, that doesn't look like a pyramid. To me, it looks more like a staircase. As if that's what's wrong here. She's ranking children to their face, and I'm like, Um, actually, it's not a pyramid, it's a helix. Nerd. Our first competition is going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, because I want you to experience some of the best competition teams in the country. The best dancers are in Phoenix, Arizona? Really? I feel like she just wanted an all-expenses-paid trip to the Grand Canyon. Which I would understand. If I were Abby, I'd be booking us dance competitions at the Bahamas. My ex-to-be it claims that dance has ruined our marriage. Ooh. My ex to be. Me two seconds after meeting a cute guy. <laughs> Girls, what are you doing? Those legs are about as straight as Elton John. Well, that was a weird thing to say to that tiny dancer. <laughs> Get it? Tiny dancer, because that song that Elton John has called Tiny Dancer. Oh, okay, you that. suck. I pay Abby $16,000 a year to teach my daughter dance. But don't tell my husband. Well, I sure hope her husband isn't a fan of the show. Because that would be awkward. <laughs> Maddie, I know you're not feeling well, but suck it up. We gotta get through this, okay? She looks green, practically, and pale. She looks horrible. Jeez. I think we get it. She doesn't look great. <laughs> like, her face is so green that I wouldn't touch her with the 39 and a half foot pole. I wouldn't touch you with a... 39 and a half foot pole. Her stomach hurt really bad. She was crying. I can't stand a child that's sick. Ugh, me either. Sick children are so annoying. They're always like, donate to my GoFundMe so I can pay my hospital bills. Or, hey, those cookies are for the kids. I understand. Yes, knees together, Paige. If you're bow-legged, you need to fix that. Is that even something that can be fixed? Like, isn't that a medical thing that you just can't change if you're born that way. Paige, you're 5'8". You need to fix that. Paige, your eyes are blue. You need to fix that. Paige, you're a Scorpio. You need to fix that. Like, come on. I'd rather be the one that makes your child cry in the privacy of my studio instead of crying in front of 800 people at an open audition. You mean cry in the privacy of national television? A lot more than 800 people have seen her make these children cry. Does she not understand that she's on a TV show? Paige, come here. I'd have your head on a platter. Yes? Do you understand? All right, man up, get out there. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh, I wonder why she's crying. By sheer coincidence. I'd have your head on a platter. Man up. <laughs> I like how Christy just puts her arms out for a hug and nobody goes up to her. Is that just like a motherly instinct thing? When all mothers hear a child cry, do they just automatically put their arms out for a hug, not even knowing where the sound is coming from? That kind of reminds me of like being in the milk aisle at a grocery store and shouting, Dad! And then, you know, like every man in the aisle turns around. But none of them are your dad. Brooke has been winning awards since she was six years old. And Paige also, last year, she won first place for interview. 
First place for interview. Why are they interviewing children? Goldfish, they're the snack that smiles what? Back, that's right. You win. When I had two girls, I couldn't wait for them to be dancers. I want to try competitive cheerleading. Do you know how many kids in your class would like to be Junior Miss Dance of Pennsylvania? My guess would be like two, maybe. It's a very niche honor. Do you know how many kids would kill to be Junior Miss Dance of Southeast of Downtown of West Chester, Pennsylvania? Do you? Huh? Ungrateful. Ungrateful. I don't want Brooke to quit dance because she's 13 and that's when all the trouble starts. It's true. 13 is when I started drinking soda and staying up past nine. Those are my rebel years. Mia, close and talk, arms! New year, same old, same old. Me literally every year ever. I mean, two days into 2023, I already gave up on journaling every day and eating vegetables. Didn't take long. Mia has a lot of confidence, and I think Mia has a lot of ability and talent. My goal for Nia this year is really for Nia to grow as a dancer. Hi, yeah, this is hot. Nia is either a robot that needs a reboot, or she just saw into the future. <laughs> My goal for Nia this year is really for Nia to- Hey, bum, bum, bum. got any grapes? This year is really for Nia to Ideally, we would love for her to have a title win. This is my crown, but I just bought it because I had to have one. As you should, Nia. As you should. Honestly, I think everyone on this planet should buy themselves a crown. Actually, who needs diamonds when you got plastic flowers? This girl, I need diamonds. If anyone wants to Venmo me, that would be great. <laughs> okay. Kathy, oh, I love Kathy. Is Kathy. Hi. Oh, that hand's wet. She's acting like Melissa is a mermaid that can't get wet. Like if Melissa touches water, then she's gonna flop to the floor, grow a tail, and then develop a really strong Australian accent. Or no, the condensation. Or no, Cleo. Emma. Four, five. This is what you keep forgetting. Why do you keep forgetting this? Oh, I don't know, Mom. Maybe because there's a horse next to me that isn't gonna ride itself. Can we be done yet? Because I want to play. That's what she wants to say. I can tell. I can read Vivi's mind. I am absolutely loaded with corks. I love bunnies. They're soft and they're cuddly and they're cute. I like carrots, too. I think carrots are neat. I'm just... I'm just not like most girls. Like... I love bunnies and carrots. <laughs> it's important that I look good because I don't want people to think that I'm Vivi's grandma. Right, because the wallpaper, creepy bunny antiques, and that ferret around her neck all scream youthful. <laughs> I love you, Kathy, but what? We uh, actually prepared a little piece for you to see. It's just a little duo that we started this year, but she'll just do it as a solo for you. Is that okay? Uh, okay that's I thought Kathy straight up meant that she was going to perform a duo with Vivi right now. Like, I was expecting her to rip off her coat, reveal, like, a unitard with feathers, and start tap dancing. It would be very on brand for her. Anyone who's watched this series wouldn't be shocked by that. She changed the dance. I pretty much took center stage, and I improvised. There is no way Vivian is ready to compete this weekend. I need to work with her a lot more before she's ready. What was that? She trying to shake a crumb out of her costume or something? That was an interesting choice on the choreographer's part. Kathy? I don't care if you're taping, I'm going in to kill it. Go! No, you're not! Yes! Every week we put the trash out. Go! Then take yourself out to turn the biggest piece of trash there is! Okay, so apparently having three innocent children cry over a span of 23 minutes was not enough drama for producers, so they sent in this random woman to start yelling about God knows what. And it is intense. Call the police! Go for it! Pardon? She does not have weapons, just her mouth. We just want you to leave the property, so. Yeah, I'm loving All right, you gotta go. Can Take I... your daughter somewhere else, then, if you don't like the dance company here. She was.
was already leaving by the time the cop got there. <laughs> Do you think the producers made her wait in the parking lot? Like, she was actually listening. She was ready to go, and the producers were like, we'll pay you a little extra money. The cop is on his way. If you'll just wait in this parking lot so that he can at least confront you for the footage. Okay, good. <laughs> like, that literally did nothing. She was already leaving. West Coast Dance Explosion is an amazing convention and competition. Hopefully they don't get second, because second is the first to lose. That's right. That's the spirit. Do you want to get a drink? <laughs> Me when... Ever. Always. At all times. To dance. <laughs> Uh-oh. Abby's huffing and puffing. I hope the bar was made of brick. Are you two good to go? Yeah, we're gonna leave in All a minute. Right. I double fist when I'm in college. Okay. Oh, you guys, you're beautiful. Yeah. Drunk women are so nice. Like, they're just so complimentive of everyone. Nothing feels better than getting a compliment from a drunk woman in a public restroom. <gasps> oh my god, are you okay? What happened? Oh my god. What happened? She walked right into the curling iron. Oh man, that hurts. It does. The terrible thing is that you know producers right now are like, score, we got a kid in pain and crying. This is gonna be great. They're actually like, Hey Paige, um, so sorry, but do you mind walking into the piping hot curling iron just one more time for us? You kind of stepped out of frame the first time it happened and we'd really love to get this shot. No? Okay, fine, we'll just leave an open safety pin on the ground somewhere. Good luck to whichever one of you steps on it. Open your mouth and ask somebody if you need something backstage. Chances are they have it laying or there's probably 10 body pins laying on the floor. They fell out when she did it scenario, it went down. I know, but that's dangerous. What if she was at Radio City Music Hall and the thing was open for the ice skating ring to come up and she did a side aerial and fell 13 stories down and died? Huh? Oh my God. What if she was in the comfort of her own home, sleeping beside her dog? It was just like any other night, except it wasn't. Because in the middle of the night, she rolled over, slit her throat on her nightstand, and bled to death. But it doesn't end there. Then her dog went over and started slurping up her blood. And the dog actually ended up dying of alcohol poisoning because she had been partying and drinking too much at her cousin's bat mitzvah that same night. Huh? Huh? Doing. That's Abby. A third place with a score of 274 goes to Party, Party, Party. A second uh -oh. place. With a they got third. You know what that means. They all got hairy chests. First is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairy chest. I don't make the rules, but if I did. I'd probably keep it that way because it's pretty darn funny. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that was Dance Mom Season 1, Episode 1. It was honestly very nostalgic watching it back because I used to watch the show all the time as a kid. But when I got older, I did stop watching it because I couldn't handle how toxic the show was and how, like literal children were being mistreated it's honestly so crazy but i really enjoyed making this video i hope you enjoyed watching it please make sure to check out my other videos i've reacted to the boogeyman megan wednesday the button j station um i have lots of fun videos for you to check out so please do that like subscribe turn on the notifications bell and thank you so much for being here guys seriously every single one of you that subscribed to me i appreciate you all so much you have no idea um but yeah thanks guys bye why do i sing every time i do that i need to stop <laughs>